that you need as much faith in science to believe what science tells you about the world as a religious person needs faith in their religion. You know, for somebody who believes in science to say that I understand science, science is the facts of the universe, you know, therefore I can't be religious because I don't believe, I just don't want to have blind faith. Well, you have blind faith in science. If I asked you, how much does the earth weigh? If you could put the planet earth on a scale and weigh it, how much would it weigh? Well, this is what Google says. This is how you calculate the mass or the weight of earth. 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kg. How do I know that the earth really weighs that much? Nobody actually picked the earth up, sat it on a scale, and came up with that number. That's a mathematical calculation. Okay, now let's say this. What is... How fast does light let this this how fast does light move, right? Alright, what is the speed of light? Light Light from a moving source also travels at three hundred thousand KM per second. One hundred and eighty six thousand miles per second. Nobody I mean how can somebody actually right, so look this is my lamp. So you mean to tell me somebody actually measured the light? No, that's a mathematical calculation. And um, when we look in the sky and we see the stars, science tells us that we're not looking at the star, the light from the stars as it is right now. If, we, if we're seeing any kind of light from the stars, we're looking at the stars as they were millions of years ago. Because as we all know, a light, a light year is one year. So, it takes millions of light years, sometimes billions of light years, depending on how far away that star is from us, to see the light. If a star is a billion light years away, it takes a billion years for that light to actually, so that we can see it. So, after, so when a star died, the star is already dead by that point. So, when a star's dead, its light takes a billion years to come for us to see it in the sky. How do we know that? We can't even transverse our galaxy. The furthest that we've ever been is the moon, the International Space Station. We'll never be able to even, you know, we can't even see everything that's in our local galaxy. And there's, there are billions and billions of galaxies in the world. We only have access, we only, we only can see our one sun. You know, there are billions of suns in, in, in just millions and millions in just our galaxy but billions in the universe, right? But we'll never be able to actually go past the moon. You know, maybe one day we'll get to Mars. But human beings will never develop the capability to transverse our galaxy. So all we can do is come up with these mathematical calculations to assume certain things. So if you're a fan of science, you have to have faith in those mathematical calculations because how do you know that calculation is really real? It fully weighs number, 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 number. Because you have faith in science. So don't ever get mad at people for having faith in their religion. There's nothing wrong with being religious. You can be a science person and a religious person at the same time. Because both of them require faith. Peace.